On this episode of the Whiskey Tornado, we are reviewing Angel's Envy Cash Strength. Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Tornado. I'm your host, Lance, and on today's episode, we are reviewing the 2020 release of Angel's Envy Cash Strength. And in addition to that, I'm going to give you guys a really good, affordable, easy to find substitution if you're looking for Angel's Envy and can't find it. For those of you new to the Whiskey Tornado, let me quickly explain our scoring system. We rate every bottle on presentation, nose, palate, finish, availability, and value. We rate each category 0 to 1, 0.5 being average. At the end, we add those all up. Three or better is bar worthy, four is bunker sum. All right, so let's get into 2020 Cash Strength Angel's Envy. First category is presentation. Okay, guys, the presentation on this, it has to be a one. It is beautiful. It comes in this gorgeous box with this nice magnetic lid. It has, uh, which you can hang by the way, and then you can display your bourbon in this beautiful box. On the back, it has angel wings etched onto it. It is just, I mean, you can't get any better than this display. Angel's Envy did a wonderful job. I really love all the details. We're gonna give presentation a one. It's a no brainer. It's the best in the game. All right, moving on to the nose. It is, from the time you nose this, you can tell it's super dense, full of flavor. It is plums. It is like dark grape skin. My grandparents used to have this uh, grape vine in Southern Illinois, and we would pick those things and eat them. And the grape skin was super thick and like almost purple. That's what you get on the nose on this. Super, super dense fruits. Plums, raisins, honey. Mm, the nose is beautiful. You can really, the port really comes through on there. Mm. I'm gonna give the nose on this a 0.7. All right, moving on to the palate. Cheers, guys. Mm. The palate is everything that the nose was. It's so coating, it's so dense. It's almost like a dessert whiskey. Those port barrels really were, it seems like it was aged in those port barrels the perfect amount of time. I think this is, you know, if, if you're having a really nice steak, this, this bourbon is the best bourbon to go with a really nice steak. It's just plums, it's honey, it's uh, grapes, raisins, Oh, it's just beautiful. Mm. Really, really good for what it is. You just have to go into it realizing this is a different animal than your typical bourbons. It's finished in port barrels. Some people may not like that because it's gonna veer off your, your normal bourbon flavors. To me, I love it. To me, it's, a, it's the perfect bourbon with a steak. Um, so I'm gonna give it a 0.8. All right, moving on to the finish. This just hangs around. You guys have ever seen rounders hanging around, hanging around. You just taste those, that port finish. It just lingers and lingers. Those honey notes, those plum, dark plum notes. It's just gorgeous. Um, it's a really good finish. I'm gonna give it a 0.7. All right, moving on to availability. Availability is one category where this is gonna take a little bit of a hit. Um, I generally see these every year uh, in a case in one of the stores I regularly visit, but it's only there for a couple of weeks, so it's way less than average. We're going to give it a 0.3 on availability because it is hard to find, but not impossible. Okay, and moving on to value. This is a $189 to $200 bottle for MSRP, and if there weren't another bottle, which I'm going to share with you in just a second, that is really close and really good. I would say that this is worth it. It's very unique, it's rich, it's dense, it goes fantastic with a good uh, expensive steak. Um, a lot of people that are into wine are really gonna love this because of its port barrel finish. It's got very unique flavors of raisins and honeys and grapes and plums. Um, but due to the fact that I can get a $40 bourbon that tastes really good, not quite as good as this, but really good, we're gonna give this below average on value we're gonna give it a 0.4. 
Um, a lot of the value in this is the packaging. Unfortunately, it's still a fantastic bourbon and I don't mind paying $189 for this. This was actually a gift from a friend, from a client of mine that I train. So, um, so thank you, Tom, if you're listening. Wonderful gift, I was blown away by this. Um, but what I thought I'd do to add just a little touch of, of uh, value for you guys on this Angel's Envy 2020 Cash Strength Review is show you a bourbon that's really good, that costs $40, also finished in port barrels, and that is Isaac Bowman Port Barrel Finish. Um, Angel's Envy Cash Strength is 120 proof. Um, Isaac Bowman is 92 proof. So it is a little thinner, not quite as dense flavors, but still very, very good. I've poured a glass already. I'm gonna taste this real quick. Yeah, fantastic. Especially if you're newer to bourbon, I would I would argue you're probably gonna like Isaac Bowman's better just because it's easier to drink. It's not gonna fight you as much. But the flavors you get in this are so dense and so, um, it's just so mouth coating that you really can't go wrong with Angel's Envy Cash Strength. I love this year's offering. The 2020 offering is fantastic. Again, either one of these would go fantastic with a steak. Um, so it's, do you wanna spend $189 or $40 and suffer just a little bit of weight, density, flavor, but still an overall really good bourbon? Either of these are gonna work. I thought this is a great uh, budget substitution for Angel's Envy Cash Strength if you can't find it. Uh, this is a $40 bottle versus $189 bottle. But overall for the score on Angel's Envy, we have it at a 3.9, which is bar worthy close to bunkering some, but I don't think you need to bunker some. They're gonna come out with more of these every year. They're not incredibly hard to find. People aren't chasing these too bad. They are chasing them, but not, not as crazy as like Buffalo Trace. And if you can't find this, always you can go grab Isaac Bowman's Port Barrel Finish. These are a little easier to find. Uh, I believe they're getting their juice from Buffalo Trace as well. So fantastic juice in this bottle. Can't go wrong with either one, but we're gonna give it a 3.9, which is a bar worthy. Definitely worth the $189, especially when you consider the packaging. Um, I don't feel like I'm ripped off by buying this bottle. Hope you guys enjoyed the review. Until next time, cheers.